Hi everyone, we're back with another video. In this one, we will discuss the 10 amazing Raspberry Pi projects, so let's get started. Number 10. Previously, all oscilloscopes were based on analog cathode ray tubes. But today's digital oscilloscopes provide a slough of useful features. Jeremy Cook has made an oscilloscope using a Raspberry Pi 4, a diligent analog Discovery 2, and an old monitor. The Analog Discovery 2 is a USB device that takes electrical signs and analyzes them, all of which are sent to a connected computer. With this you can see all kinds of information about your circuit waveforms. It even allows you to generate the waveforms at the same time while using the scope probes. Great for experimentation, right? Number 9. This is a MIDI controller made using Raspberry Pi Pico. You can even use this as a macro pad to simplify your tasks while working on a PC. The arcade buttons are placed inside a case, which gives it an aesthetic look. The Pico is programmed using CircuitPython. It's easy to use and can be a great addition to your music studio or live performances. The buttons are mapped to different notes, which can be played back using any MIDI compatible software or hardware. So unleash the musician within you by making a beautiful melody. Number 8. Although some people agree that the Raspberry Pi 4 does not need any heatsink, with how it is designed, some circumstances require a bit of cooling. When the Raspberry Pi 4 was tested by running at its full speed without a heatsink or any cooling device, the max temperature reached 70 degrees Celsius. While on the handbrake, the temperature reached 74 degrees. Well, this may not sound as alarming, but imagine watching a video with its full quality capacity and then it shuts down. It could without warning. It's great to be safe than sorry. With the heatsink, the max temperature was 58 degrees, and in the handbrake it was 60 degrees, not to mention it is easy to connect the heatsink. Number 7. Having a smart dashboard at your home becomes essential when you need to keep a track of all your activities. Apart from viewing, just time and weather updates, you can schedule and see the upcoming events for the day. It even allows you to cast YouTube videos to a window inside the display. In this way, you can easily get entertained without losing the important notification or information from the display. The display can be pulled from the wall and can be adjusted to any angle according to your convenience. This feature comes in handy when you are at another section of your house doing some work. Isn't that neat? If you want to design better PCBs or need features like remote working, advanced 3D viewing capabilities and MCAD, then you should definitely check out the free trial version of Altium Designer. And do you know that it just got better? With an all-new Altium 365, you can share your PCB designs with a single click. Anyone with internet access can view and comment on your project from a browser with no additional license required. So what are you waiting for? Give it a try and see for yourself. The link is in the description. Number 6. Ever imagine building your own LED beamer? Well, with Pi Zero, which has Wi-Fi, it is possible. The IKEA lamp Sprida is a great choice for a LED beamer because of its optic. This hack will allow you to display short messages on the wall using the lamp. You can use it as an alarm clock to display the time or as an info system for a smart home. All you need is a few supplies and some basic knowledge of electronics. Keep in mind that the projection visibility varies according to the distance and the ambient lighting, so make sure to run out some tests before settling for this one. Number 5. Turning the old gadgets into modern, usable devices gives people a satisfying experience. For instance, take this Super 8 film viewer of the 1960s, which is turned into a Boost Box 0.1. You will also require an LCD screen, a Raspberry Pi 4, and a speaker to make it work. But once assembled, you can view any video you want that is offered by YouTube, which is a vast improvement from the original purpose of the machine that showed one roll of Super 8 film at a time. 
Not only that, but the device can also be connected to any Bluetooth speaker. Efficient and retro, right? Number 4. A Jack in the Box It's one of the most frightening toys available. It's always scary, no matter what time of year it is. Sean Hoggins took it a step further by automating it and making it work on its own. He used a 100 to 1 DC motor to turn the crank from the inside and a Pi camera to detect victims in the vicinity. Once the camera locks onto a face, the box cranks itself and eventually ejects the jester. As the spring takes most of the space inside the box, the electronics are housed in a custom 3D printed base with a hole cut out for the camera's eye. This might not sound scarier, but imagine you're home alone and someone does this prank with you. Number 3. Do you also have a number of apps from where you are controlling devices and sensors in your home? Also, interfacing across platforms and between brands isn't usually available. So you use the Home Assistant software to control all of your Home Assistant devices. The project uses a laser engraver and cutting machine, but it's not a must. A Zigbee gateway is added to the hub. Once set up, you can scan your network to find all of your compatible smart home devices and then start building dashboards, automation, and routine to control them. Number 2. If you're interested in monitoring how your download speed, upload speed, and ping are affected over time, then you must try out this project. This can also help you to find out at what times your network may be at its peak capacity or if you're suffering from a degraded internet connection. For this, you'll have to create a device and add variables. Rename the variables and give them the corresponding unit. After that, install the libraries and modify the code. Once completed, you can easily monitor the internet speed on the connected devices. At number 1. Building a project requires time, but won't it be amazing if you could make one? By just picking and placing the necessary components like this, this project demonstrates how easily you can build a smart indoor gardener within minutes. Each block that you see here consists of a connector at its back. Inside it lies a miniature circuit board housed by an SLA 3D printed enclosure. It can either be a clock, a control pad, a joystick, or a display. It even omits the requirement of connecting wires. After putting all the blocks on the magnetic base, now let's test the smart gardener. So whether it be observing the readings or controlling the circuit, this has got you all covered. So we hope you love these project ideas. Comment your favorite one down below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.